Hi, Eli Joe I'm glad to have you in class today to discuss and solve vital issue in this our field of geomatics and geospatial engineering. Well, for so many years I have been wondering if it's possible to produce a survey plan using ArcGIS. And then I kept going on consultancy and research. And then voila! Today I have discovered a very effective and easy way to do that, which I will be showing you in just a minute. But well, if you are just getting in contact with this video, please encourage me by clicking on the subscribe button and like, share, comment. If there's any issues or there's more solutions to what I am providing today, please drop it on the comment section. Someone may be in need of it. Well, with that being said, let's get on to the video. Yeah. Okay. We are on ArcGIS 10.8. That's the version I am using. And uh, uh, the first thing, I'll be taking it as if you have no idea on how ArcGIS operates and work. So to do that, or oh, we'll, we have um, data, so we'll be using that is an Excel file. So basically, today we'll be producing a survey plan using ArcGIS. So I have a data. Okay, <clears throat> my data is here added. So I have these four points uh, point A, B, C, and D plus. Yeah, point A, B, C, D. Okay, let me just click a label and then we have P349, P342, P341, and P350. Okay, these are a plot of land, a land parcel. So what we are to do here today is we are going to be uh, creating a survey plan. One of the things that is hindering people from using ArcGIS to do survey plan has been the issue of peering and distance. So we'll first solve that issue. So to do that, first you go to catalog and then you go to system toolbox then you go to data management toolbox and from data management toolbox you come down to to futures so data management futures and here you're going to do point to line double click on it so you're adding the point okay so the next is just okay leave it to go on the default ArcGIS database it's processing Okay, point to this has been converted, but then now this is what we're going to do next. You come to your editor, start editing, then you click on the point to line. That's the new one just created now. So what you're going to be doing here is see this line are joined, so this cannot generate a bearing, so you need to split them need to split them using this split tool to split this line so they are splitted then the next thing is to complete the angle some i don't know 
and even we have another point it will have closed but i think that's why it didn't close so now we have our a b c d so you stop editing so once you stop editing you check the uh the properties of the point to know what coordinate system this is carrying okay it's carrying carrying universal transverse mikato mina that's a nigerian local data so the work is under zone 32 so that means your point to line is also on mina 32 sometimes you may see on non-reference point so you make sure you put them to one reference point all right the next is to go back to your catalog and then you go to toolbox this time around you're going to add geometric attributes add geometric attributes okay so you come down to the plot plot a point to line so you add length because the distance is the length here obviously and then line bearing which will be what we need to to generate so the next is to select meters then you okay all right now that it has processed you will remove this then you add it back so this is in our default geodatabase so this is plot a so you bring it back so you see that it's added then now let's check our attributes so once you check attribute you see the bearing has been added the bearing of the four legs have been added but then it's only showing 300.1691 so what we'll do now is to put it to the length we want okay so you will right click up on the bearing you right click on it then you come to uh, properties of it then under properties you go to numeric under numeric you go to dimension direction sorry then you change this value representing angle as degrees then leave it at not azimuth then you, you check it to degrees minute and second okay so they're asking you in how many decimal places we are not doing decimal so it's or well, let's just use three okay we have 300 degrees 110.06 okay 10 10 minutes sorry 08.76 seconds if you check through that's what we have now so you close that so it means our bearing has been added and then our distance also is added which is the length if you compare the length here this one that was done during uh, digitizing and then this one that was generated you see that we have 28.997889 here we have 28.997899 so it shows you that what was generated correspond with what was created okay so uh we are successfully one digitized this two we've able to gen uh, generate the bearing and distance so the next is we're moving into producing this as a map but then i'll see you in part two of this video for that so stay tuned